decided not to prosecute him. That, in my view, has established a precedent where it may be difficult for us to punish other officers when they do wrong. So there is a problem that of justice in the army. If my young now goes and makes public statements or does any other act, how do you punish me? I can also go and organize Kavarol Development Association, Nango Development Community, Karamoja Development Association. So we have problems with this. In the administration of justice, oh, I'm very happy to... Yes. I think I should begin. Yes. I should rewind this. Yes. I was saying that the, the special case of Dr. Vesu and the management of his campaigns, I believe that Dr. Vesu launched his campaigns because could have been resolved without organizing to give the government association a choice in case you are prosecuted. And for any other person to be prosecuted, if you committed an offense similar to all the responsibilities, that human rights are not just individual rights. They are also societal rights. That you cannot enjoy rights in a vacuum. That rights are enjoyed in a, in a stable, peaceful, law-abiding society. It's the duty of the state to make provision for that security. It's the duty of the state to regulate, to strike the delicate balance between individual rights and societal rights. My second point I'm making is that uh, Dr. Vesiji, many times during his campaigns, published official documents that came to him by virtue of being an officer of the UPDF, which was in violation of the Official Separates Act of Uganda. This, I am sure, is detrimental to the security of Uganda. We are in a volatile region where even if I was fighting corruption, I am not going to get any document I received as a Chief of Logistics and Engineering and put in monitor to make my political point that uh,